Hello there. This is my project, Fuzzy Logic Based Flight Controller for a Quadcopter. With this video, I intend to share with you my journey through various stages of this project. For this purpose, I will use some slides and video footages. Hope you will find this video interesting and helpful. So let's begin. Okay, so here's the methodology that I employed in this project, importing the real-time data into Symbolink through hardware in the loop. Here the hardware stands for the orientation sensor MPU6050, then uh, designing a fuzzy logic controller using uh, toolbox available in MATLAB Symbolink, then analyzing the performance of the fuzzy logic controller in MATLAB Symbolink, then designing the setup to interface Symbolink controller with an actual quadcopter model, and analyzing the performance of the controller in MATLAB Simulink with the actual quadcopter model in the loop using the hardware that I mentioned above. Then hardware implementation of the controller designed in the Simulink using an embed board. The attitude control mechanism of quadcopter involves three fuzzy controllers, namely fuzzy PID, pitch, roll, and your controllers. The output of these controllers are mixed using the expressions shown under the controller output mixing. The diagram shown represents this process using blocks. The slide shows a snippet of fuzzy PID pitch controller and the yaw controller. The fuzzy pitch controller is of PID type. It calculates the error signal from the current pitch angle and the reference pitch angle. The rate of change of error is obtained from the angular velocity about y-axis. The five past errors are summed up during each iteration to constitute the I or integral part of the fuzzy PID pitch controller. These P, I and D components are fed to the fuzzy controller designed using fuzzy logic toolbox in Symbolink which generates the control signals. There are a total of 75 rules in pitch controller. Roll controller is similar to pitch controller. The yaw controller is also similar to pitch controller in operation. It controls the angular velocity about Z axis so it receives your rate and reference your rate as input. The snippet of the Simulink model shown below was used for the open loop verification of the controller. The query instrument is used to acquire data from MPU 6050 via an embed board. The data consists of acceleration and angular velocity over the three axes. The data is demultiplexed and unbuffered. This unbuffered data is fed to the control block which generates the control signals. These control signals are mixed with the throttle values to generate the on time for four motors. The knobs are used to vary the reference pitch angle, roll angle, yaw rate and the throttle value. The dials represent the on time for each motor. By moving the MPU 6050 sensor in various angles, I verified that the controller is taking action. This Simulink model was used for closed loop controller performance analysis under which an actual quadcopter was interfaced with the Simulink controller. It includes added features like switch and knob for BLDC motor calibration. Control signals are applied to the BLDC motor using Arduino board. Arduino toolbox was installed in Simulink for the same purpose. In order to feed PW on time to Arduino board, the control signals calculated in terms of microseconds were converted into an 8-bit value using time scaling block. The image shown on the left hand side is of the board that was used to interface the quadcopter model with the Simulink controller. MPU6050 is linked with the Simulink controller via an embed board. The control signals were generated by the Arduino board. The right hand side image shows the quadcopter interfaced with the Simulink controller. This video footage here shows the controller performance in the initial stages of the project. The diagram shown on the left hand side shows the effect of motor vibrations on the sensor readings. This issue was fixed by reducing the bandwidth of the internal low pass filter of the MPU 6050 to 5 Hz. As seen on the diagram in the right hand side, the noise has significantly reduced.
As you can see in this video, after tuning the rules and changing the internal bandwidth of the MPU6050 sensor, the controller is performing much better. These graphs show the performance analysis carried out in MATLAB Simlink environment. The oscillations are mainly due to the delay in communication between the sensor, Simulink, Arduino data path. So I decided to test the same rules after hardware implementation of the fuzzy logic controller using an embed board. And here shows the basic system overview. In order to generate the C++ code of the fuzzy logic controller, it was stored as a separate model and input output ports were specified. The next two slides show some settings that were used for this code generation. This is the code generation report of the C++ controller code. This diagram shows how the C++ controller code is integrated with the total system. This is how it looked after the hardware implementation. This is a user interface that I designed to control the various parameters of the controller while in operation. This video shows the quadcopter controller working on the embed board. As you can see, it is much more stable when compared with the previous videos in which the controller was actually running in the Simulink environment. These oscillations were further reduced by adding an extra feature of controlling the gain of the fuzzy logic controllers. This snippet shows an instance from the operation of the controller where the role controller gain is set as 5. The following video shows the quadcopter model stabilization during this period. As you can see, the quadcopter is much more stable. So, here are the conclusions. The HIL based simulation study of the quadcopter was performed and knowledge was gained on the quadcopter system. The knowledge gain through the HIL simulation was used to frame rules for the quadcopter controller. The controller designed through HIL simulation was implemented on an embed board. Also, a LabVIEW based user interface was designed to control the quadcopter remotely. It has been found that the quadcopter requires variable control gain for the role pitch and your controllers at various levels of throttle. Thus, a fully functional fuzzy logic based controller should also include an adaptive gain control scheme for the role, pitch, and your controllers. Thank you for watching.